So again, this is Good Rose Auto Salvage over at Scotts Bluff, Nebraska. It's got a lot of interesting uh, vehicles out here. Of course, it goes clear on back there. There's a trash pile. She has a Durango Sport up there in the pile. I'm surprised by that. Crusher. I've seen a lot of action. <laughs> MTD Gold Moor. Transmission was probably not even good. Curious if we get over here to a certain spot. It actually has a an Etzel and a like a 58 Etzel over there wagon and a 58 ranch wagon. Right there, hopefully it's picking up this fine. And of course a a hard top 58 Fairlane. But that's got a lot of work to do. Needs a lot of work. Of course, so anyone wants a 65 ranch, uh, well, wagon, I don't know if that was a ranch wagon or not. It was a Scout International. Buses or whatever. gonna set something on there's another international got a few other things again the diamond tea is not his so yeah I kind of cried on that one so did I it would be nice to have a diamond tea but the guy hasn't even bothered to pick it up yet he's kind of neglecting it all right See what? This is not dangerous at all. <laughs> what makes you think it'd be dangerous? I don't know. You tell me. I had one viewer uh, freak out about something before they deleted the comment, and so freaking people out about this. We've been underneath cars like this before for hours. Even had one fall on you one time. Yeah, that's because I didn't hook it good right there. <laughs> <sighs> no. There's a safety check. <laughs> it'll, hold, it'll, it'll hold enough to get you out of there, it? Oh, yeah. Got dual pipes, but they're off a small engine, off a 302 or something. Yeah, it's a, it's a small block. Of course, I need the 42048. Uh, yeah. Alright, we're gonna have three arms to take off. You're gonna wanna save the least springs. That's gonna be part of your suspension. You need the coils. Yeah. Probably the shocks, too. One's a good one, actually. That's a big rear end. It's a very big nine inch. That's the best one you get. Oh, that's a okay. I did not know that was a nine inch. I didn't even bother to count the. Well, that's a nine. You don't have to count it right here. These bolts here, you can't get on them with a socket. Two of them. Eight inch, you can. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not fuzzy iron, but you still. I guess I'm still gonna be fuzzy. You can yeah. still get guts for it. Making it. 
Yeah, because I don't know stuff about body work. You're the you're the guy that knows stuff about the drive terrain. Well, let's start ripping around. Yeah. Oh, we're fine. Yeah. So, pretty much Galaxy ran line O from 65 66 to held on by three brackets, which is right here one, two, and then right here three. This was weakened and they strengthened that. I'm going to keep these backed just because. But uh, I'll put uh, some Cadillac springs on it, have to do some modification in order for it to fit, and then three quarter ton stuff. Gas line's disconnected. Because honestly, the gas tank would sit right here. So. Alright. Okay, so now that I'm up on the trailer, I don't slip and fall down. Okay, now I've got to get this huge nine inch out. And as you saw in the video of us taking it out, this nine inch is huge. Leaking stuff everywhere. I don't know where it's leaking from.
think I might not wear. But first, gotta get this off and onto the trailer. Switch it around. Like so. Aha! Chrome. This, my gosh, this is a huge, huge rear end. Probably the biggest car rear end I've ever messed with. Let's get these space heaters out of the way. Got them for free. My brother knows how to fix them. Now, I've messed a smaller car axles but I think this is my biggest one to mess with so that's right underneath a uh, three-quarter ton Ford because uh, even if some half ton truck axles are not as big as this thing this is big as I figured it leaked out of that top vent. So. I know it's not going to go anywhere. I'll have to put some dirt in the back of this. And, uh. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, looks like these shots were weakened, and that's how they strengthened them. Uh, I'll probably mock the style that my brother did to his 66. I'll put Cadillac springs on it. I'll let him customize them a little because I want this to have a mean stance like his. And I'll put three quarter ton truck shocks on the back of it. <coughs> I know people are like, oh my gosh, why? It's like, well, why not? This is a big car. I'm going to need it. I know some people will be like, oh, it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm like, well, for me, it does. Because, uh, I want to put a lot of heavy duty stuff on this car because it's the 428 big block. Even if this was a 390, I would still do the same thing. Ah. So, yeah, I'm gonna get the truck pulled around. And, uh... Okay, so I pretty much have almost everything. Now, for Galaxies, what I know for 65 and 66 is pretty much the same kind of rear end. This one's the roll off. Hopefully the battery doesn't die on me. Uh oh. <sighs> okay. Now, I'm the kind of person that when I see something once, whether it's in person or online, I can mock it perfectly. Now, 
65 and 66 rear ends are pretty much the same thing, held on by the same kind of uh, bar system. You have one on the bottom on each side, and then you have your stability bar right here on top. Which is this right here. I can't remember because I wasn't paying close attention to when my brother took this part off, so I have to watch the video on what he did to relearn this section right here. But I think this was. Uh, a shock that might know I think that no the shocks are down right here the shock boosters this I can't remember what exactly was so I do apologize uh, you'll probably see what it was in the video when we're taking the, the rear end off but this is a this is a great great huge nine nine inch rear end and that is entirely obliterated so all the grease inside Leaked out. Wow, that's hold on here. Wow, that smells burnt. I don't think they never changed their rear end grease on this. Cause that's black. It's supposed to be kind of a decent color. Yeah, it's supposed to be uh, you know a decent color even when it's used, but that's that's extremely used. Oh my gosh. Should be enough, I guess, fluid in there because this ain't going to go too far. I'll get the rear end on and have a uh, uh, disc brake system put on it. But yeah, it's pretty much all the thickness right there for the bars, but I'll upgrade it because uh, this came off of a 65 LTD as you saw so but it's only gonna be temporary to get this car off the trailer I could get it off of how it is but uh, I'd rather put a rear end on it and move it around because uh, I need to put it in a particular spot and store it until next year once I get more money to take the frame in, get it fixed, and then have an upgraded system put on it, and I'll take the rear end in at the same time, but have them put this brake system on it, and then I'll get parts for the smashed up section right here, so move the camera around a little, yeah. The reason why this Q code was not sold and taken by someone else is because this kind of stuff scares people. It's just like that 73 Roadrunner because it's wrecked and rolled. Uh, people think it's like, oh, it's no good, it's no good. It's like, well, I've worked on worse. It, uh, they're savable. This is savable. It's uh, one of those uh, rare Q codes. Kind of a standard Q code, you know, but still, uh, you know, a bucket seat model. But you know what? I don't truly really care. I was depressed because it wasn't seven liter, because I was really looking forward to joining seven liter clubs. But uh, that got tossed out the one, which is fine. I'll just uh, look into Q code clubs and go from there. Uh, but all in all. I'm still happy that I got this. This looks like brown, but it's actually Ember Glow. It goes to show that I just wasn't paying close enough attention. And I actually love Ember Glow. It's close to right underneath red. It's actually my third favorite color. Uh, of course, Rangoon Red or any sort of red is my first. Any sort of blue is second. And then the Ember Glow kind of reddish brown is my third. Followed by any kind of purple. But, uh, that's pretty much about it for the Galaxy. For this one, um, I'll do another video on putting this in, taking it off the trailer, pushing it over there. But it probably won't be until a couple weeks away, maybe three or even a month. And I'm pretty sure that the garbage uh, 
guy can get through right there, but if he can, if he hits this, then he's going to be paying for some damages on the trailer. Because uh, I need space right here and have it kind of close over there so that way I can get it in. Uh, but, yeah. You wouldn't think, again, you wouldn't think this is Emberglow, but it's, it's faded. It's that really, really nice Emberglow metallic bronze color with the white roof, the sporty white roof. Kind of amazing, actually. So, I'm going to take extremely good care of this girl. Q code 428, four barrel Thunderbird. Yeah. You can never say no to that. But it is true that he did use parts. I want to pick up the stand here. But he did use parts off of another 500 and repainted it Ember Glow. So, yeah. I'm just. One thing. Bugs. One thing I'm not too happy about. Is, uh, I love how these doors close. My gosh, they close wonderful. The one major issue that I have is that since this is a Galaxy 500, uh, the panel that he has here is probably the wrong panel. Um, either that or he filled in the Galaxy 500 and symbols. And, and I'm a chrome guy. I'm a huge chrome guy. I love dressing up my ladies. Uh, I'm going to have to see on how that goes. I may have to get another panel to replace that spot there. And then put something in. So. But, yeah. About the gist of everything, or just a gist. Wow. <laughs> My cognitive skills must be f getting worse each and every day. <laughs>